Yo, this your boy Double Up and I'm back with another uh, uh, banger. But before we start this video, I need you to like, comment, subscribe. Man, what we getting into today is that boy DW Flame and Big Sad 1900, man. That boy Big Sad 1900 went on his Instagram and said this. These niggas, they don't hate me, gang. These niggas hate the fact that they broke. A lot of niggas tried to rap and it just didn't work. You feel me? So they end up on fucking podcasts. Politic and gang shit on podcasts and shit. But you ain't even on for that. You ain't even on. <laughs> what could I say? We don't even know you for that. <laughs> hey, don't shoot the messenger. They said they don't know you for that. But count how many, go, go count how many ex rappers is on podcasts and then come back and we're gonna do, we're gonna have this conversation. It ain't for everybody. You know, being a rapper ain't for everybody. It's like, it's like a kid dream people can't let go. First of all, we don't even believe. You know what I'm saying? Let's start there first. We don't believe your. We don't believe nothing you rapping about. You know, that boy DW Flame, he had to reply. You know what I'm saying? And they both made diss songs about each other. Um, DW Flame made a song called Snitch K. Go check that out. And then that boy, uh, Big Sad 1900, he made a song called Zesty Cream Pie, which is wild. Like, <laughs> that's kind of funny. You got a song called Zesty Cream Pie about a dude. Pause. You hear what I'm saying? But anyways, yeah, man. But that boy, uh, D.W. Flame, this is what he had to say this about that boy, Big Sad, 1900. Uh, D.W. Flame name uh, being said. I put it in the random I took the photo just... didn't D.W. Flame just drop. I don't see him on here. Uh, we going up. We at 45 and still going. Oh, that's crazy. I didn't see that one either. Okay, now this is Instagram post. You know, his Instagram keeps getting deleted. Right, right, right. So he makes new ones. This is his new Instagram, my latest Instagram. No, I didn't see the post. Okay. But I have been seeing people tag me in little shit like that mm -hmm. and what's so crazy about big sad is i wanted the best for big sad big sad put himself in a in a position where he put me in a predicament when i had to speak my real true mind and what i thought about it mm -hmm. as a black man prosper but as a gang member i had to speak the truth you told and you a snitch and look you don't have to he like oh and go uh be podcasters now look look, look. i'm gonna tell you one thing okay i'm a rapper whoa, whoa. look cuz you don't have to be a real to be a rapper you could be a bitch, a snitch or anything i'm a real my name is good you could never say that no more yo all bad nigga. you in the house walking around with you in the house walking around with 30s on your hip that's far from gangster chill out champ like and your gang saying that I, I don't have to deal with you when you were sitting next to me i was cool with you because we had a podcast champ you not from my hood so i don't have to do nothing to you nor was i ever gonna do nothing to you because i can give a fuck. your hood need to do something to you you feel me basically you sitting here saying all this is busters because you've been in your hood and they been knew you snitch you said the wrong card you said the card that this was in and that's just the facts you could do as good as you want on your music. You feel me? But it's not going to last long. Name one snitch besides Alpo, who name still ringing. You f*** yourself up. On the dead hums and in no way, form, or fashion on this earth you can see me. Period. You can buy up artillery. I got artillery. We got everything that a can say. Because you can't see me from either way around. So rap. That's what you do. Rap. Be the best rapper you could. Make it to where you at. Your name already bad. Your homie say that and where you be at, don't even be at. So, like, because if you want to make that, if you, who cares? I don't care about your music. I didn't want you to not get far, which you put a hold to yourself, because snitching is snitching. You talk about it in your own music. So, if you being real, if you was me and I was you, you would be like, that's snitching. That's snitching, bro. Okay, I mean, so, so basically you're saying that the shoe was on the other foot. And gave you no if the 
like me though, we talking about a nigga. We talking about a whole different type of nigga. A nigga like DW who everybody be like, DW supposed to be this or just how I carry myself. I am, I am a stand up If something like that happened to me, it'd be flooded. Flooded. I wouldn't even, I, the only scapegoat is a uh, snitch to, to say is, yeah, I dropped my album. Cause what else you gonna say? You got you got an interrogation room. I got an interrogation room. You knew be, I knew better when I was 12, 13 on insane crib. You was fully involved. You was gang banging in. You snitched, bro. But I don't think you meant to. It was an accident. You you didn't even have to say nothing because you didn't do nothing. So it's an accident, bro. You slipped. If your hood forgive you for that, you're good. I don't get. You don't need DW approval. You don't need suspect. You don't need John approval. None of that. Keep rapping. But now you trying to troll. That's what busters do after a while. You get on the internet and troll. Ain't nobody getting chipped from your trolling. I'm a whole different type of I'm on there. You dissing your own dead homie and got into it with your homie. That's what brought it out. What type of weird try to diss his, your own homie to get on his brother nerve. But that's your dead homie. What a loser. Come on, champ. We two different type of n I might not never. You talking about me for no reason. I still was wishing, DW, I'm not claiming to be out there every day, but I'm insane, Crip. If you see me troll, if I say I put it up top, I will. Crip Street. We different like that. I'm insane, but more, oh, <laughs> I wish peace and blessings to you, champ. Keep staying in your house with your 30 on your hip, walking around on live, because that's what gangsters do. Man, straight up call that man a snitch, man. You know, that's the biggest thing that you can call somebody when it, when it comes to especially rapping in the streets and all that type of stuff. You know, um, that boy Big Sad said he a failed rapper, so now he a podcaster. And saying that he showed love when he was up there, but didn't say it to his face. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, how you guys feeling? You know, I want you to drop in the comments and let me know how you feeling about this situation. Because at this point, it look like it's smoke. And it's smoke. You know what I'm saying? And it always, it's always some smoke coming up on the No Jumper podcast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, against black individuals. You get what I'm saying? You know, because... Uh, they bringing gangsters on podcasts. They need to leave that. They need to leave the gang stuff in the streets and just podcasts. You know, that's just what I'm saying. You know, what I'm saying? that's how I feel. But I want to know how you guys feel. So drop it in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Leave your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? And um, if you want to know about that boy T Rail getting uh, waving a white flag uh to that boy uh Young Rich Moolah. Uh, the video gonna be right here, right here, down here, man. Make sure you tap in and check it out and see what's really going on. And nah, I'm out.